Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. So here are the rules. The Marvel character in the fight has to wear their gloves and cannot destroy their gloves with any of their superpowers. Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Walleen and Rod Payne. So, this is what we're talking about today. The Marvel gloves, the ones I have in stock right now, Punisher, Captain Marvel, Deadpool, Wolverine, and Black Widow. I'm not going to analyze the gloves too much because they're all kind of the same. Different leather, okay, different Eric, attributes. I don't mean to interrupt, but we got those as well. Oh, Thor, yeah. <sighs> I'm glad we I'm glad you pointed that out. We got Thor. So, with that being said, we got talking, we got debating, we got arguing, we almost got a fight over it. So what we did is we created a bracket. These are all the Hayabusa Marvel gloves they have. So we decided, well, why don't we put them in a fight bracket and have a championship? like fight over this so here are the rules the marvel character in the fight has to wear their gloves and cannot destroy their gloves with any of their superpowers right yeah so here's the bracket and now rod and i are going to debate who wins each fight now if you're wondering how i stacked the bracket i stacked it exactly how hayabusa has it on their website so they have the wolverine at the top Deadpool below that, and so on and so forth. So they actually lined the bracket up for me, and as I looked at it, it looked like it lined up really well. It did. Like superpower to superpower, it lined up almost creepy well. So let's move on here. The first fight, <clears throat> the first fight right out of the gate, Wolverine versus Deadpool. Remember, they can't destroy their gloves. They can't take their gloves off. So. What do you think, Rod? So Wolverine has um, has the metal that comes out for the claws. I can't exactly remember what it is. So I'd immediately destroy. It. However, when it comes to superpowers, they're so both they're both out of the equal. gate. Wolverine can't use his claws. However, however, Deadpool can't shoot a gun. Well, neither can neither. But here's the thing: they're so both equal, and that's why in the Marvel inter universe they both take jabs at each other. However, I think Deadpool walks away with it because of his military experience and just his wits. He, I think he'd just destroy Wolverine military in a Military experience? Way. Wolverine's been in the military since the like, 1800s or something. I know, but but Deadpool just goes on special missions. He, I think he'd do it in a funny way. And just because he is played by Ryan Reynolds, I'm going to give it to Deadpool. At the end of the day, I give it to Wolverine all day. Not close, but we got a trusty coin here. This will decide who wins. All right, I'll give it heads for Deadpool. Heads for Deadpool. Heads for Deadpool. That's garbage. There's no way Deadpool wins that fight. Well, it's it's it's, it's I'm sorry, Eric. No way Deadpool wins that fight. But good news. But good news is uh, But good news is because the Hayabusa leather's so good, it held up all right during the fight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next fight. Once again, these line up pretty good. Bat Rock versus Captain America. Honestly, I had no idea who he was. I had to look him up. Apparently, he just has. He's a freak athlete. Yeah. Um, I believe Captain America takes that because Captain America is technically uh, modified when they juiced him. Basically, yeah. what it is juiced. So, and I didn't know much about Bat Rock, so I can't say much. But Captain America just, just whoops him with the old uh, star bang banger. I, I think there's no questions asked. Captain America, and he, didn't Captain America train boxing in his, yes. in, in one of the movies? There's no doubt Captain, now, apparently, Bad Rock is an Olympic athlete in like everything. Yeah. But I still think the superhero human power is too much. Captain America, that is an easy win for Captain America. There's a reason Hollywood has not made a Bat Rock movie. Is not that cool. No, it's, it's not. It's not. Captain America is our second winner. Okay, the next one. Black Widow versus Punisher. I think this is another no-brainer. I really do. 
I think Punisher destroys her. <laughs> I I I don't know. I I like Black Widow. I think just for the sake of it, let's just let's just say just coin toss this one. Yeah, I mean, so but let's point out some facts. Neither one of them have superhuman power, right? They're both just people that are good at shooting good guns. Yeah, well, I th they're both martial artists as well. Um, but I think. This is, but we have the man's division versus the women's division. And maybe the, I'm not being equally right, but, like, I mean, there's a reason we split the sports up. Yeah, but, okay. I mean, uh, 200-pound man against 135 Scarlet Jans. I understand. I, I don't I don't see how we, we flip the coin on this one, to be honest. I'm just putting Punisher down. I'm 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 sorry, Scarlett Johansson. I tried. Don't hate me. It's all Eric. Come see us at Fight City. You could take it out on him. Yeah, I I I mean, if you want to comment and tell me why Black Widow beats Punisher, oh please, please back me up. I please do. Moving on. Iron Man versus Black Panther. Now remember, can't destroy the gloves, so Iron Man can wear his suit. But he can't be shooting things out of his hands. It would destroy the gloves. I think because uh, Black Panther has more of a martial artist background, that Black Panther just mopped the floor with him. I don't think Black Panther can penetrate the suit. And I think the suit gives Iron Man an insane amount of power. Well, well Black Panther also has a suit, too. Kind of. Okay, we'll give it to Iron Man. No, well, I, I think we can flip over it. I don't want to bully this one. I bullied the last one, so well, thank you. I'll let guy. you flip. You want to flip? Yeah, you call it. Tells. You win. Tells for Iron Man. Moving on. Captain Marvel versus Venom. I don't know much about Captain Marvel or Venom, to be honest with you. Captain Marvel apparently has Superman powers. Basically, yeah, yeah. That, that that's just the gist of it. Um, I will give this one to Captain Marvel just because she can fly, um, and just because she just is a lot faster than Venom. Yeah, and she can get away. The honest truth, I don't know much about Venom either. All I know is that Superman's got some ridiculous powers, and if Captain Marvel has the same power as a Superman. I got to give it to Captain Marvel. See, we're going to get a lot of crap because, because we said that because DC and Marvel are different things. But Eric doesn't know that much about the, the superhero stuff. So I kind of got to explain it to him. But the best way to explain it is Superman powers. So. Yeah. I'm not trying to pretend like I know a lot about these guys. I casually kind of maybe sometimes see the movies. That's it. Okay, last one. This, <laughs> this one's going to go down. Thor versus Hulk. All right, Eric, I'm going to let you think. I'm going to let you say this one first because I, I made up my mind when, when we thought of it. I think it's Thor. No, because um, Thor is not invincible. He's, he's mortal. Hulk is immortal. We're just going to have to flip the coin. I don't know that I can bring it. Like, but isn't Thor like a god? He is a god, but but he um, in North mythology, and Marvel does fall in North mythology, uh -huh. all, the gods are not uh, immortal. They're mortal. All right. So. Now, who's stronger? Who's going to hit harder? Hulk. Are we uh, sure? Uh, yeah. Look, unless, I, unless well, let me say this. Let me say this. I used to collect the cards when I was a kid, yeah. and, and we'd flip them over. And they'd have like the strength rating and yeah. everything. And I do remember the cards from the 90s gave Hulk and Thor the same strength rating. Okay. okay. Well, we, we, could, we can hear him get technical with it. If Thor, drops, if Thor drops his hammer on can, Hulk. Can Hulk pick it up? No. It's, he's not worthy. <laughs> he's not worthy. <laughs> I think we just have to oh, put the coin on this one. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's your turn. So you're calling it for Hulk. Yeah, I'll get tails. Oh, Tells for Hulk. Okay, that puts us in the next round. All right, that goes Deadpool 
versus Captain America. And I already know what you're going to say. I think Captain America beats him. No, because Captain Captain America <laughs> is mortal. Deadpool cannot be destroyed. There, yeah, Eric. Uh, Eric, but, did, but we. I guess we didn't talk about this. At what point does the ref call the fight? We're not, okay. we're not going to the death. At what point is Captain America just smashing Deadpool, um, and the ref's like, "I've seen enough." Okay, so Eric does not watch R-rated movies. Um, I'll just put that out there. So Deadpool, Deadpool has literally been incinerated. And is left with a toe or something. Yeah, I'm not saying that he can kill him. What I'm um, saying is the ref will watch. Did you Captain ever, America smash him until he's done watching? He's did like, you ever this, watch? This did fight you ever, is over. Did you ever watch the what Juggernaut? If goes, what if it goes to the judge's scorecard? He's still going to win. Captain America is going to throw way more he's punches. No, okay. Okay. Well, would okay. Who who would win in a fight? You or Tim? We got it. We got to flip a coin. I'll go heads. That was a bad. That was a bad one. Heads. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... Deadpool is not winning this thing. Deadpool is not winning this thing. Okay. Next fight. Punisher versus Iron Man. I don't think there's a lot of debate here. No, Iron Man's just going to... Iron Man? Yeah. Iron Man. Okay, next fight. Captain Marvel versus Hulk. This is a good fight, but I think we're both going to lean towards the same conclusion. Yeah. Hulk? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Because, I mean, because he can just jump and grab her out of the sky and just... And just the, the old low Twirly, smash twirly, thing. and yeah. Hulk smash. Yeah. Hulk. Okay. Now... We have almost the final round. We have Deadpool, Iron Man, Hulk. Now, I think both Rod and I have concluded that Hulk is probably going to go to the finals. So he's going to get a bye all the way to the championship fight. Hulk has made it to the championship fight. So now we've got to figure out, and this is a good one, because I'm going to continue to stand where I stand. We got to figure out who's going to win between Deadpool and Iron Man. Who wins between Deadpool and Iron Man? You know, Eric. I you, think you've been pushing Deadpool the entire time, and you can continue. I, I don't mind going a coin toss on this, but I'm going to go back to. On the judges' scorecard, I really think Iron Man's going to do more. Even if he puts it into this like robotic, like, and he's throwing a thousand punches a minute, he's going to do okay, more. Okay, well, if he does that, yes. Um, but How if do you it win comes the scorecard on that, you, you uh, but, but, okay, if he does that, yes. But if it comes to pure martial artists, because um, I've actually done a little research on Deadpool before, because I'm just a nerd sometimes. He does judo. He's a black belt in jujitsu. It's a boxing bout. They got gloves on. And he does Muay Thai. He's, okay, can you eat enough? Okay, kick? so we can. But he we, has a mask. Okay, I we, get what we you're saying. We can put it into a Muay Thai fight. So he trips him. He's not tripping. He's not tripping Iron Man. <sighs> okay, Deadpool. I'm sorry, Deadpool. I, he's gonna have to lose this one. I agree with you, Eric. You agree. We don't I agree. I'm sorry, Deadpool. I'm sorry, but I agree. Okay, so we got Iron Man versus Hulk in the championship round. Okay, now this has actually. Played out without the gloves. However, the question is... Iron Man versus Hulk in the championship fight. So, this one's for the viewers. Now, I'm going to say he has to, he's going to be in the special suit that he fought the Hulk in. To give him a fair fight. Uh, You've lost me real quick. So, so okay, Iron Man versus Hulk. Iron Man gets a special suit? Because um, in the original, when Hulk fought the original Iron Man... Hulk just tore him apart in the original okay. suit. Um, but later on, I can't remember what movie, what, what Avenger it was, but he came back in a bigger suit. Okay. Just to be fair, for so the sake Iron of... Iron Man get the bigger suit in this fight? Yes. So, okay. so to be fair, to give, him, to give him a fair shot, I believe that's what we're going to put him in. 
Um, however, Eric, doing that, knowing that, who do you have win this one? With the bigger suit? Yes. I'm going to go with Hulk. I'm going to go with Hulk as well. However, he is going to put on the robot mode, and after the video, I'll have to show you it. <laughs> but Iron Man does have Hulk up against the ground going, Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. But Iron Man does have Hulk up against the ground. And it, it is hilarious. But Hulk still takes this, and I will give it to Hulk for the champion. So we have concluded that Hulk. What's up? We've concluded that Hulk is the all time champion if the Marvel characters get into a fight and they have to wear their Marvel glove. Okay, so, but I just hope whoever in that fight, that last fight, I hope it's just a one punch thing. Because after that, as good as this Hayabusa Gloves is, I, I don't think it'll last more than one punch. Um, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, thanks, Rob. That was awesome. And uh, tune in. We'll get another video soon.